We check for anything, this is a flat tire or... Susan Lapis is a teacher who loves to fly. Crossville traffic, Skyline 735 Mike Tango, departing on 8. Lapis pilots her Cessna 182 for South Wings, a nonprofit group that has logged thousands of flight hours in its 10 year history. South Wings' mission is to provide skilled pilots and aerial education to support conservation efforts across the Southeast. 21 South Wings pilots fly in 11 states. Reporters, conservationists, politicians, and corporate executives get a bird's eye view of things they cannot see from the ground. Well, when you're in the air, you don't just see how horrible the mine is or the clear cutting or the chip mill. You can see that the chip mill territory goes for 100 miles in every direction. Last year, South Wings flew Walmart executives over coal mines in West Virginia. And they were speechless. They got to hear stories from local people, uh, family members drowning, all the kids with asthma, all the different impacts from bad air, bad water, and flooding. And my heart fluttered because that's what we're all about, is to get people to see it. People at South Wings believe that experience may have influenced Walmart's new environmental policies, including installing a wind turbine and solar panels in some of its stores. Lapis takes pictures of the places she's been with reporters from newspapers and magazines. I have picture of the flood in West Virginia that was runoff from the flattened mine. South Wings flies people who work on clean water, clean air, and environmental sustainability. And they fly reporters who cover those issues. But they are not advocates themselves. We've learned that if we can include the media on these flights, uh, we've got the public eye or the public ear. South Wings has flown thousands of passengers from more than 560 organizations since it began in 1996, offering passengers a new perspective on what's happening on the ground by looking at it from the air. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.